How's it everybody? Money Shot here again, and welcome to Hawaii Crap Shooters. In this video, I'll be sharing with you one of the betting strategies I use called the Pineapple Press. Check it out. So here is what I call the Pineapple Inside Out Press, or the Pineapple Press for short. It starts off with 320. It is a pretty high bankroll, so I caution you. If it's out of your budget or it's high in your budget, you can definitely cut in half. But because of the large amount of investment, I strongly recommend that you just use this on yourself if you're a controlled shooter or if you do see a controlled shooter on the table. The only reason for that is because in order for make this pineapple press to work, you gotta hit four of the box numbers. So if your SRR is higher than a four or your box number SRR is higher than a four, then this will definitely work. So I use this betting strategy on myself because it's a big risk but high reward system. So, so how you set up the pineapple press is it's 320 across. So you got 50 on the four and 10, you got 50 on the 5 and 9 and then you have 60 on the 6 and 8 so that's 320 so what we're gonna do is press from the inside out so the pineapple inside out press and the reason or the logic behind that is we want to press up the most probable number which is the 6 and 8 to come out next to the 7 and the 6 and, and press those first so I judge it by more of the mathematical part so I like to press the six and eight first so if let's like, say the six hit that will give me 70 for 60 for 70 and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the six and eight to 30 make it 90 each all right and we have, we'll lock up this $10. I wanna put it right here so we know how much uh, we're getting back. So we're 320 minus the 10. Next hit, let's say we hit a six, cause like I said, it's the most probable than all of the other numbers. Let's say we hit a six, so 90 will now be 105, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rack up this five here and we're gonna press the five and nine to 100. All right, and that's the second hit. So the third hit, let's say we hit the five. So 100 pays 140. So 140 here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 100 and we're gonna press it on the four and 10. Make that 100. Okay, so now we're waiting for the money shot, which is the fourth hit, okay? So right now, out of our 320, we've taken back 40, 55 dollars. So we're in it for, let's say, uh, 265. So let's say the money shot hits, the fourth hit hits, and it's the four. Perfect number four, because four will pay 200. I'm not including the VIG right now. So. 200 we get paid on this and that was our fourth hit so after your fourth hit what you do next is or what I do next is I go drop it all down I tell the dealer take me all down and this would be the money shot right here all of these and pass me that and um, and bring me down to 160 across so this is all of our money we made assuming that myself or that controlled shooter on the table hits four box number hits so this is what our winnings is gonna be so we have one two three twenty is our investment and we just made one two three hundred twenty five three 
355 best case scenario 355 plus we have money in the game we're playing with house money so you can rack this up take back your initial investment now you just made 355 on yourself and you're still in and what i do from here is i first collect and then i press because i want to recuperate all of these back so i would get 30 i would get 35 25 i'll get 35 the 25 i'll get 50 and i just press it from there um, and how I press it is I single press. So if the six hit, I'll collect. If the six comes again, I'll press. So I press individual numbers. The reason why I press individual numbers is because I strongly believe that one person's throw has consistent numbers. And whatever they're hitting, I wanna press on that number. Here's a story, I had one guy who hit eight nines in a row and i pressed that all the way up so didn't make sense for me to press everything else but that was his just his number he just kept on hitting it so ever since then i believe in just pressing single numbers up one if it hits but i'll collect first and then i will press the second hit so on each number but that's pretty much basically what the pineapple press is and We'll try it out on a controlled shooter, which would be me, and I'll try my best to make this work. But let's get to the dice and try out this system. All right, so let's get to the table. So our bank roll is gonna be five players, 320 each, again, for the pineapple press. Uh, but we're gonna be shooting. So this is all on myself. Um, so I'm going to add a quarter to each of the bankroll per player. So 320, you want to have a bankroll of 1600 for five players. So typically 3200 for a full table. Uh, but we're going to just use five, five players. Sorry about the chickens again. Um, okay, so we're going to go take one player. Our money shot hit is four hits, as I mentioned. So we want to hit that and see how we do. All right. And I'm going to set this dice. That's the only way this strategy will work because it's a it's a press a pineapple press you're not taking nothing back and you want to just make as much as money i mean i'll press it up and your whole goal is to hit that three goal the four hits all right i'm gonna set uh three v three v set on the come out Short row seven. Seven is a winner. Seven on the come out. Winner. Now I'm just gonna put my winnings here. Put my winnings there. Alright, seven on the come out. Maybe I shouldn't hit the throw the three B, but that was a short one, so it's alright. Dice out. Eleven natural eleven winner again. All right. So I know many of you guys comment about my chickens in my neighborhood, but it's a good distraction for me. I saw. 639 just reminds me of all the drunkards on the table in Vegas so that's what the drunk guys on the table in Vegas is what I call my chickens here in Hawaii so first bank roll pineapple press we're gonna press everything up 50 60 60 50 all right 
Okay, we're all set up. Now we gotta hit the four hit money shot. Let's see how we do. Dice out. Shot the nine, winner nine, winner nine. That's a good hit. So nine. Clear the pass line. Sorry. Nine pays seventy. So what we're gonna do is press thirty each, take back the ten, make these ninety. And we're off on the come out, so this is off. All right, we got one hit. One hit. Dice out. Two hearts. Seven is another winner. Seven is a winner. Pay the pass line again. Seven. So at least the sevens are coming out at the right time. But I hit that dice too. I hit the wall too hard. Nine again. Nine, mark the nine, six, three, nine. We need three more hits. So for this, I like to hit, set the three V so I can hit the six and eights. Dice together, four, six, ten, big winner. Four, six, ten. So, ten will pay a hundred. I'm not gonna put the V again just to make it quicker. But you get a hundred here. And what we're gonna do is press the five and nine. Five hundred uh, to a hundred. That's two hits for us. We need three more hits. Uh, two more hits we need. Five three eight. Five three eight. Five three eight. That'll pay us one oh five. What we're gonna do is take that five and have the dealer press up our four and ten two hundred. Now here is the money shot. We need this money shot to scoop up our money and run. Our four hit split. Nice dice. Ten. Big winner, ten. Ten money shot winner, yeah. So our ten will get paid hundred, we'll get paid two hundred. And now we're gonna ask the dealer to come down on all of these. Look at this money shot. Look at this money shot. And we're gonna come across, we're gonna still stay in the game. For 160. But look at all our profits, check that out. Man, that's the pineapple press right there. If you're confident in shooting four hits and your skill level is at that or higher, that's why I want to get an SRR of eight so that I have a better chance of hitting that four hit money shot. So, all right, we're still, we're still rolling. Six. 
six, winner six. Like I said, we're gonna collect first because we wanna make more money. Six pays 35, we'll rack that out. Six four ten. We're just killing that ten. Six four ten. Twenty five pays fifty. We're gonna collect that. Dice out. Six two eight. Six two eight. So eight. We'll pay thirty five and we'll collect that too. Again, pineapple press works with just controlled shooters, not randoms. Six one seven. Six one seven. So ah, we made a lot of money on this. And but this all comes down. Puck is off. But that's why I like to collect first before pressing, just to see how that monster roll is going. But <clears throat> let's see how much we made with this shooter. One, two, three. 320 is our initial investment here. And with that four hit pineapple press, we made three, four, five. 535 on that shooter. I might as well quit. We'll eat already. <laughs> 535. All right. Let's do this. Shooter number two. Shooter number two. Dice out. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna put my pass line bit. I'm sorry, not 535, I have to minus that 25 uh, initial for the pass line. So it's actually 525. Win oh, no, five, 510 winning. Nice, oh, 145. 145, mark the five. Set up our, oh, that's, that's our pass line. Set up our pineapple press. Good to go. What we need, we need is our four hits again. Four hit box number. The dice is strong. Five winner. Five winner. Winner five. So we get our pass line here. And we get 70 here. Which we're going to tell the dealer to press up our six and eight because that's the most probable number to get. And tell them to press it to 90 each. All right, two fives in a row. All right, come out, roll. Eight. 
eight. Eight, mark the eight. We need three more hits for the money shot. Three more hits for the money shot. Let's do this. Dice together. Hard ten. Hard ten. Hard ten will pay a hundred. And we're gonna inside out press the five and nine. Two more hit guys, two more hits. Let's do this. I like how the dice are feeling. Oh, that was an ugly throw. 11, yo 11. We don't get paid on that. So we're still needing two more hits. Hop the eight, hop the eight. Let the eight come out. Oops. Eight, hop the eight. <laughs> Five, three, eight. Hop the eight. Money shot, call it. Eight, winner eight, pay the pass line 25. And that will pay, 90 will pay 105. So that'll be 105 here. And then we're gonna pineapple press the four and 10. All right, and then puck is off. Lock up this $5. Five, three, eight. Should have hopped the eight. All right, come out roll. We're not working on the come out roll. Dice out. Five, four, nine. Five, four, nine. All right. So we got three hits now. This is our money shot, guys. That's why they call me money shot. We gotta hit this money shot. All on this roll. Oh, five. Yeah, money shot, baby. Five. That was a scary roll. So 100 will pay. 140, here you go. And then what we're gonna do is, again, tell the dealer come down because we hit our money shot. And let me just stack this up for you. The dealers won't do this, but I just wanna show you guys the money shot right here. And we're gonna ask them to come back up. Isn't that beautiful? 160 again. Then we'll play it from there. But look at that, money shot. That's how you make the money. All right. All right. So everything now is stress-free. We got our initial investment back. So when you hit your money shot, you're pretty much stress-free because all your winnings are locked up. Now you're just playing with house money. Two, six, eight. Two, six, eight. So, eight will pay 35. And we'll lock this up too. Collect first. Always collect first. Money shot always collects first. Nice out. Oh, nice. Aces. Aces. We don't win money there. That was an ugly shot. Dice together, but ugly shot. 
Now I gotta work on my spear. I'm just, I'm just getting excited. Eight again. So second. This is the second eight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press now because that's our second one. So we're gonna take the five and then have the dealer just press. Like I say, I like to press individual numbers because I believe that there is consistency in one's throw. I don't, uh, no matter what player, usually there's some kind of consistency. It's rather be the throw or the numbers hit. People call it the dominant number, see? Eight. <laughs> Eight. I just proved what I was just talking about. Eight. Eight will be 70 here. Sorry, let me get more chips here. Eight will pay 70. And we're gonna collect this in. We're gonna rack it up, so. Yep. Um, I just don't like to press numbers that they're not hitting because to me that feels like I'm wasting money on the wrong number. Oh, wow, that jumped on each other. I don't know if you saw that on camera. Oh man, three, four, seven, seven now. But guess what? Money shot made the money shot. So we're good. All this comes down. Uh, Let's, count, let's just count it out again. Easier for me because when I do the calculations on the video, sometimes it gets wrong. So let me, 320, our initial investment and quarter for the field. So we'll lock this up for the second shooter. And let's see what our profits was. Three. 355 on this shooter. Not bad at all. 355 money shot. I made $800 already on two shooters. All right, third shooter, pass line, quarter. And we're just practicing. This is great for uh, the strip when, when there's quarter table. But again, I caution you, if this is uh, too much for your bank, this is a high advanced betting strategy. And you gotta have the bank roll that you're comfortable. If you're not comfortable, don't play this. Dice out, short roll, six, four, 10. Yeah, play what you're comfortable. And um, in another video, I'll do the skinny on this pineapple press uh, on a lower denomination. But just wanted to show you guys what I do. All right, pineapple press set up. Let's hit the money shot again. Four, six, ten. All right, dice out. I think I'm gonna use this 3V in Vegas. 10, winner 10. Right back, 10, six, four, 10. Pass line winner. We'll pay 100. We're gonna have them go up. We'll get change here. What we're gonna do is go 30 again on the six and eight, make that 90. We'll lock this up here. All right. And the puck is off, sorry. Puck is off. Dice out.
Roller, 268. I hate this bouncy table. 268 on the come out. Mark the eight. Out. Four, six, ten. Man, three V's just bring out the ten on me. That's good. Fifty pays a hundred. We're gonna press the five and nine. Second hit. Two more to go, guys. Two more. Two more hits for the money shot. It's the money shot. Hit two money shots already. Four. Nice one. Nice. Three, one, four. 50 pays 100. Press the four and 10 to 100 each. All right, guys. Guess what time it is? It's. Money shot time. We focus all on this one shot for this betting strategy. Oh, that was ugly. Five. Yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Money shot. Three, two, five. Money shot pays. 140. On the five, all right. <clears throat> Again, bring all these down. You just tell the dealer usually. Can you bring me down to one, one sixty inside? But just wanted to show you guys again another money shot. One, two, three. Twenty initial investment. Twenty five for the line. We got our money back here. We're gonna lock this up here again. Look at our profits building up. And then we're gonna have them go up. One, well, 160. So 160. If you pulled it all down, we would have got 200, 360, 375 we made on this hand. But we wanna stay in the game, so. And it's a quarter table, so rack this up here, profits, and we'll roll again. Right now, again, we got our profits, we got our investment, we got our profits. Now it's stress free. We just roll to the moon. Hard 10. Hard 10 on the shorty. 50 for one, actually. Take that. Oh, actually, these are our profits too here. Which was about 10 of, that was about 50, 60, 70 dollar profit too. Hopefully I can calculate that in the video not miss it for you guys all right dice out aces 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 four this pays 50 for one we're collecting first so um, you know knowing if you collected or pressed I have another system I'm going to show you guys in another video so you can track collecting and pressing four one five. 415, that'll be 
35 and we're just gonna be the chip collector so if you guys watching this video I'm in Vegas now um, but I just want to put this out for you guys while I'm in Vegas I saw 268 Two six eight winner eight pay the past line quarter and we get thirty five for the six and eight come on for the eight actually two six eight so hopefully rolling this is a good hand for me but again you only get the dice once out of a full table, so. Unless you have the table to yourself. Two, six, eight, then you'll be doing this kind of scenario. Two, six, eight. Setting the three V, that's the primary. Six two eight. Let me just double check. Okay, six two eight. Sorry, my camera just shut off for some reason. So I hope it didn't come off. But six two eight, and uh, I forgot if I got paid or what. Um, six two eight thirty-five, and we'll add that on. Bro, six nine, six three nine, winner nine. A pass line twenty five, and we get thirty five for the nine, and we're collecting this too. All right, so six three nine. Good roll, good roll. Three two five. Three two five. Mark the five. Three two five. All right. Dice out. Oh, shoot, that went over. That was too tall to call. Oops. All right, dice out. Four, three, seven, ah. Hey, that's the myth. You guys go off the table. People usually turn it off, right? <laughs> I don't believe in that, but that's the superstition. Everything comes down. But again, we are stress-free because we had made our money. I'm going to just push all of this here. Ah, last shooter. Let's see if we can get five money shots in a row. All right. Dice out. Hard eight. 
card eight. Mark the eight. Get our 320 for our pineapple press here. And let's do this. Four hits to the money shot. Can Money Shot do it again? Three, two, five. Three, two, five. Three, two, five is seventy dollars. So we're gonna rack up this ten. Tell the dealer to put us to ninety on the six and eight. There you go. Dice out. Oh, oh, P S O. Oh, no, is it P S O? Oh, no. Two shares, eight, four, three, four, seven. Oh, we didn't make it. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. But we didn't collect anything, so we lost three. What's that? Three forty-five on that hand. But it's okay. Let me swing over on this side. Let's count our profits. That was three. Four, seven. All right, so let's count our profits here. So this is all our profits. I'm just gonna put this all in the rack. So all the greens are gonna be 500. There you go. So that's 1,000. Three thousand four thousand. Do we have enough for more for this? Five thousand there. Do we have any more greens here? Yep. So that's another 500 here, 575, 3, 4, 5, let me just change this nickels to a quarter, make that, there you go, and let me get another rack, make it easier. We got so much reds. So these are hundreds. Hundred. Man. Seventy-five, eighty, ninety. So we need five, six, no. What five? Hundred. This is twenty-five hundred. Three, three thousand, three hundred ninety. Three thousand three hundred ninety. And what was our in, initial investment? Sixteen. Sixteen. One hundred. One thousand six hundred. One thousand seven hundred twenty-five. So, not bad at all um i have the calculation in the video but big win here with mr money shot hopefully i can duplicate it in vegas but thank you for watching aloha so in summary the pineapple press is a great system to use the only disclaimer i have is to use it on a controlled shooter or someone you know who has a high srr don't use it 
on a random roller. Because you have your initial investment all out there at risk until you hit that four hit money shot, it's a very high risk strategy. So it's an advanced strategy. Again, use it wisely, try it out, have fun. If you have the skill level, this will work perfectly. But again, you only should use it on a controlled shooter or someone with a higher SR. So have fun, stay safe, and thanks for watching. Thank you for watching Hawaii Crap Shooters. If you like this video, please smash that like button, leave me a comment, and I'll be sure to get back to you. If you prefer email, you can email me at hawaiicrapshooters at gmail.com. But most importantly, please support my channel by hitting that subscribe button and also clicking on that notification bell so that you'll be notified on my weekly videos. Aloha.